Hello and welcome to Crummy Games Recommends, my series where I recommend games which I have really enjoyed personally and I believe are worth checking out. In this video, I recommend Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, a fast-paced shoot 'em up with great writing, developed by Sparse Vector and released on Steam in October 2013. The highlight of this game has to be the writing and the nonsensical story that it creates, making for a light-hearted adventure. You begin by choosing your party of three characters, which you can name after your friends or family if you like, and each of these are functionally identical, simply functioning as hit points. You can also choose a starting wagon, each of which differ mainly in their appearance as well as the default weapon. A great feature here is that the game does drop subtle hints as to what you need to do to unlock the additional wagons and it is these nonsensical touches such as unlocked by self-discovery or unlocked by catching something which captures the essence of the game. But I am getting a little bit ahead of myself here. The main game involves side-scrolling shoot-em-up action with frequent story interludes told through text which occurs every 3 to 30 seconds. While you do encounter the same locations in the same fixed pattern, encountering the cave and then the river, and then the Great Plains, and so on, the actual events that occur at said locations can differ. For example, within the cave, you could either encounter giant bats or find treasure. This aspect made every encounter really interesting, as I was always curious as to the number of different scenarios that was written for this one location. As I mentioned, each party member functions as hit points, with each having a maximum of 4 points of health for a total of 12 at the start. Each hit taken by your wagon reduces the hit points by 1, and when any individual party member loses all of their hit points, you are greeted by a death message such as a burning wolf ran into Ruth, setting her on fire, or water was gored by a narwhal, and these do add to the hilarity of the situation and the game. The other core mechanic in the game is hunting, as killing animals with certain weapons will allow you to collect them. While the game justifies it as hunting for food, there is no hunger meter in the game. Rather, you will occasionally encounter fur traders who will treat you upgrades for animal pelts. These upgrades include faster wheels for your wagon, increasing your movement speed, a smaller, more maneuverable wagon which decreases your hitbox, and even consumables such as health recovery items. Killing enemies and collecting their pelts thus becomes pretty important. Finally, in order not to spoil too much, the game does go places and does fiddle with the conventions of a side-scrolling shooter. There are instances where you have to dodge rocks, get chased by lava, and even encounters where the orientation is flipped on its head. These unexpected shakeups to a classic formula in such a rapid fashion kept things interesting, and every run as a result was excellent, which kept me going back for more. Not much more that I can say about this game, but it really is super amazing. Anyway, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.